Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. This is Luca Red. Um, this is gonna be a collective reading for the last weekend of January 2022. Um, okay, so what I'm getting is um something might be going down at a club this weekend. Um, I got a couple of songs before I started this reading for y'all. Um it's, it was all right at first, but I was thinking, okay, so uh, somebody's having some mood swings. Somebody's going through some things like um, there could be some kind of mental issue here or somebody might be just uh, popping pills, doing some kind of drugs or something like that. But it's I feel like it's leading up to something that's going to be, uh, it's leading up to a tower moment. It's leading up to a tower moment or... Um, a lot of times I connect with people who are on the other side. So this could have already happened. This could be somebody actually coming through that was killed in a club. Okay, something something's going to happen in a club or it's already happened. Um, I feel like it was a fight. Um, but, okay, so I went ahead and pulled out. This is what I got so far. Um, and there's a lot of, there. there is or there was. A lot of devil energy. This um, could represent a Capricorn, uh, but just basically lower vibrational shit. People, you know, doing drugs and stuff, and and kind of acting a little savage. Like that's that's <laughs> I got that that word twice in two songs leading up to the reading. Too people just acting like like savages about something. People are mad. Okay, now I feel like somebody. Somebody, something somebody loves is going to be taken away from them. The sun, um, that could represent a Leo. Like I said, a tower moment is coming for somebody. Um, and what just happened, everything was going good for somebody. Uh, six of wands, success. Things were looking good. Um, but overall, heartbreak. Somebody was heartbroken about something. Um, somebody was being juggled. So I feel like they found out about it. Um, and, you know, they felt left out in the cold or was literally put out in the cold, possibly. Um, okay. At the bottom of the deck, this knight of swords, um, somebody in this situation is, is this king of swords energy. Um, I feel like there could be a narcissist involved, um, or it could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, um, Okay, so I'm going to pull some more cards, though, to clarify what's going on here. But somebody could just walk away from the situation. Somebody could just walk away and nobody's got to, nobody's life has got to end. If people would calm down and, and think about things before they make stupid decisions is what I'm feeling like here. Um, I got some initials, okay? A J or a T could be significant for somebody. At some point, you might see this reading. Your name might have a J or a T in it, or somebody that you're dealing with might. Okay. Um. So, Holy Spirit, please clarify this reading for me. What is going on here, and what does the collective need to know about this? Something going on in the club. Something going on in the club. Um. Okay. This, okay, so clarify the King of Swords for me. Who is the King of Swords? Who is the King of Swords? Okay, the King of Swords is the one who's angry. This person is causing conflict, chaos with this Five of Wands. So this King of Swords energy is is the one causing this conflict and this chaos. Um, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Okay, so... This uh, King of Swords is heartbroken over something. Well, this female energy here. I'm getting this female energy here with the Six of Wands. Okay, so. And with the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. You know, it's, it's juggling energy going on here. So, it looks like it's a third party situation that was going on. If somebody found out about it, maybe. Okay, Holy Spirit, please um, give me more information. Oh, yeah, the Emperor, okay? So this could be 
something going on between two men. This other man found out about. They found out about each other. Okay. Um, one could be an Aries. Okay. Um, as I say that, we got the Queen of Wands coming out. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Oh, Leo. Okay. So definitely looking like a Leo here. Definitely could be involved. Um, a Leo and a, I feel like this King of Swords is an Aquarius, but it don't have to be. Okay. So what happened? Or what happened or what's going to happen? What does the collective need to be aware of? Okay. With the, the lover's card, um, that, that King of Swords could be a Gemini, but at the same time, I feel like this is about a choice. Somebody's going to regret a stupid ass choice. Okay. Um, if you're planning on going out this weekend or whenever you see this video, uh, if you came across this video, then you might need to watch out for about leaving your drink somewhere. Um, it just, there's just hate and energy around you. Like, people are just acting crazy. That's that's what it looks like here. People are acting crazy. Like, like I said, it could be a lot of drinking and stuff going on. Okay, Eight of Cups. Somebody's going to end up, yeah, that's the whole message right there. Walk away. Don't. Don't get caught up in this bull crap because somebody, somebody was feeling left out in the cold like this, heartbroken up here with this three of swords, okay? And thinking about doing some stupid shit. King and queen of swords. So, yeah. This could be a husband and wife situation here. And I feel like this husband might have found out about this other person, maybe this Leo, okay? But whatever the case is, it's not worth it, okay? Just walk away. Two times here, eight of cups, eight of cups. The message is just walk away. It's not worth it. It's not worth what you're thinking about doing. And if you're dealing with somebody that um, has those initials, uh, oh, okay, King of Wands. So, yeah, there's, okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five. I feel like there's five people involved, five people involved in this club situation. Yeah, there's another five. Five, five. Um, this can be stopped. Whatever is going on here, this can still be stopped. Somebody somebody needs to just take a step back and think about it. Think about it. Think about what you're thinking about doing. Okay? There will be severe karma for this shit. Um, because I feel like... Okay, and then... Okay, the chariot, somebody I feel like is going to move forward to in doing this. Somebody's going to move forward in this decision. They're trying to end somebody's uh, life. Um, okay, so just if you're seeing this message, stay vigilant. Just stay vigilant because I feel like like a stalker energy is what I'm getting, some kind of Somebody is plotting and planning some crap. Okay. Um, it really could be any sign, but the main signs that are coming up here are we got Cancer, Leo, Aries, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. All right. So I'm, this is just like a big old warning to just. So mind your business, stay to yourself because people out here doing some crazy stuff. I hear people outside right now screaming. <laughs> probably somebody, probably my neighbors. 
This ain't me. Okay. Um, so I like to use these uh nine nine names of God cards for angel messages. So that's what I'm gonna do. Get a couple of those for you and I'll tell you what they mean. Then you can also look up the numbers if you want to get an extra angel number message. Holy Spirit, please give me two cards for the collective. Please give me two cards for the collective. Y'all just stay out the club. Ooh. Stay out the club. Man. Somebody's going to get shot, stabbed, or something like that. <clears throat> Okay, number two. Can I get one more, please? Can I please get one more? And number 45. 45? See what I'm talking about? Ain't that a gun? Okay. So. Let me see. Number 45. Okay. The omnipresent. He who has filled his creatures with talent, generosity, and potential. And number two, somebody could be 45 in the situation. Um, okay, number two, the merciful. He who is committed to helping his servants. The Prophet Muhammad is indicated with his name in the sublime Quran. Okay, so you are protected. God is protecting you, but... God can't protect us from ourselves. You know, uh, you you won't be protected if you keep putting yourself in situations where you're getting all angry and, you know, wanting to get revenge on somebody. Somebody hurts you. You want to turn around and get revenge on them. All that's going to do is keep you in this nonstop. Oh, <laughs> oops, yeah, my low battery thing came on. Okay, but anyway, so, karma, is you're going to end up in karmic loops over and over and over and over. You just got to let stuff go. You just got to let it go. Let it go. Walk away. And if you're dealing with somebody like this, you need to get away from it because your safety is at risk, okay? Your safety is at risk. Somebody's safety is at risk. Pray about it. 